Tradition has it that the Holy Roman Emperor, Charles V, gave this book of hours to Henry VIII. This view is shown by the note written on its last page by one of its owners. The book's fastenings contribute to this tradition. Silver clasps bearing the arms and monogram of this English king and the device of the Order of the Garter. Over the years, there have been several attempts to explain how it travelled from the French court to Henry VIII, and in each case, a woman's name is mentioned. It might have been sent by Isabella the Catholic to her daughter, Catherine of Aragon, Henry VIII's wife for 24 years. Or perhaps he received it from Mary Tudor, the sister of Henry VIII and Queen of France by her marriage to Louis XII, who was in turn the second husband of Anne of Brittany. They were both keen bibliophiles and patrons of magnificent manuscripts. History also mentions an outstanding member of that French court. A masterful painter who illustrated some of the most representative codices of the French Renaissance. And thus, the history of our Book of Hours leads us from France to England, from book-loving queen to a king and his many queens. As the years went by, the veil of time consolidated the tradition, but forgot about the painter. His miniatures were attributed to another artist, depriving their creator of all credit. However, in-depth historic research has at last revealed the identity of their artist, Jean Poyer. This manuscript, made around 1500 and now housed in the Morgan Library and Museum, is the culmination of the style of Jean Poyer, one of the great artists of the French Renaissance. In his era, he was on par with masters such as Michelangelo or Leonardo da Vinci. His use of space is truly admirable and exquisitely reproduces the Italian Renaissance architectures he encountered on his travels. This skill is also visible in the landscapes, where he uses extremely subtle color gradations to give an impression of depth. Jean Poyer was an absolute master of colour. The bright, vibrant colours of his garments contrast with each other most harmoniously. He garbs robust figures with natural gestures and positions, thanks to his knowledge of anatomy and the works of Italian Renaissance painters. This is how Jean Poyer produced the 55 miniatures in this beautiful book of hours made for royalty. It begins with a calendar. The months of the year are illustrated with signs of the zodiac and everyday activities typical of each month. This is followed by fragments of the four Gospels and a passage from the Passion according to St. John, where Poyer displays his talent for creating highly dramatic scenes with complex layouts. The illustrations of the prayers to Our Lady are a fine display of Poyer's great artistic sensitivity. His genius as a portrait artist also appears in The Passion of Christ. The penitential psalms, featuring a scene in the life of King David, highlight his mastery of perspective. The Office of the Dead is followed by the suffrages or prayers, begging the main saints for help and emotional support. Five centuries later, the same emotion overwhelms us as we turn the pages of this quasi-original by M. Moledo. The lively colours, shining gold and velvet bindings take us back to another time, another place. This meticulous production is the result of a combination of technology, craftsmanship and traditional materials and techniques, such as stuccoed parchment a unique method around the globe exclusive to M. Moledo, which enables colours to be reproduced exactly, making copies and originals virtually indistinguishable. The 987 numbered copies are authenticated by notary public and accompanied by a thorough academic study that contextualises and vindicates the importance of the artist's work. This edition by M. Moledo contributes greatly to safeguarding and disseminating our cultural heritage. Whilst making this gem of the French Renaissance available to 987 very fortunate book lovers. <laughs>